movie E.T., we all love that movie, right? The little kid who befriends an alien from outer love space. That movie. Well, today we have a young man right here in our studio who actually found his own E.T. while he was on vacation with his family. Say hello to 11-year-old Thomas Deming from Duluth, Minnesota, and his magical friend. Hi, Thomas. Hello. Good morning. This is such an exciting story. How did you find this little guy? Well, I heard some noises in, bush, in the bushes. Right? So I went out to see what it was, and I just found it. A wrinkled, hunched-up little brown E.T. He was so lost and confused, and it was talking really fast in its space language, like beep boop bop beep. <laughs> I just knew I had to help That's it. Great. Oh, that is so sweet. So Damn you it. snuck it back home and you hid it in your closet for how long? Three weeks. Wow. I fed it Reese's pieces so it wouldn't Ay, get hungry. Good Ay, thinking. Wow. Oh, I wish I could understand you, little buddy. Por favor, tengo que Thomas, your parents had no idea you had this little guy hidden away under your sweaters. Yeah, but one day my dad heard him making these crying sounds. Uh -huh. I think maybe that's how it breathes because oh. it cries all the time. Were you worried oh. then that your parents might make you send it back that's... to its home planet? Yeah, that's but right. then I showed them how I taught it some English. Oh, cool. And they're really impressed. Oh. Do you want to hear some English? Sure, oh, we'd love absolutely. E.T., English. English. Phone home. Oh, look at that phone home, just like in the movie. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> that's wonderful. Uh, I wish you could me. talk people language more than just phone <laughs> home, though. I don't understand. Yeah. Oh. Dad says that I have to hide it. So if I take it outside, I always put it in my dad's clothes, so it looks like a little old me. What a great idea, yeah. Now, I think you brought a photo with you, too. Let's... Oh, how cute! Yeah, me too. Was supposed to make my bike fly, yeah. right? But it didn't, no. so it fell off. Oh, how oh. It was really breathing really hard after that. Este niño. Oh, he's doing the finger thing. He's doing the finger thing. Oh, he's doing the finger thing. oh look at that! Me, me trata como una esclava. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. Sit, no. sit, you're sitting. Sit. It's okay, sit. little buddy. It's okay. Sit, sit. Look at that. Tengo que volver a mi casa. Have some more of your Reese's pieces. Oh, good idea. Of course. You've got him so well trained. That's great. Uh, the Reese's Pieces and... Thomas, what's he doing now? Oh, look at He's that. been doing that a lot lately. I think it's how it communicates with its home world. Oh. You know, Thomas, it must be just a tremendous responsibility to be taking care of your own E.T. all by your young self, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, maybe it would be a better idea if someone took care of it for you, and then you wouldn't have to worry anymore. Yeah. What do you think? And we've got friends here at Today Now, Thomas, that would like to come and just have a have a little chat with no. your ET. No, you all they're going to do is just no. ask you some questions. No, 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 my friend. No. Thomas, have a seat. Have a seat. Right. No. Well, I guess we all learned a very valuable lesson about friendship today, didn't we? And stay with us because coming up after the break, we're going to ask the important question, do our dogs know enough about our founding fathers?